This video was brought to you by Marcus Biel, Elbil Mac, Abadur Planner, Stoltenberg, Camp Power, and Biel Componente. We are here at Yelo, and the time 4:33. So the quick way to do this: minus one hour plus three minutes. So that's three hours and 36 minutes. <gasps> really? And we are here. Damn! Huh? We have to round up to four. It turned 34, but it doesn't matter because it's still. Uh, for uh, three hours and 37 uh, minutes and then we round down to 35 huh huh we came here just five minutes slower than the classic ionic and not only that but we had 25 percent left so if we count 15 let's say we charge 15 percent too much right we still want to have a little margin 15 minutes i calculated how many kilowatt are that, that is and then it takes roughly four minutes to charge 15% extra so you could actually round we could round it down to uh, three and a half hours okay uh, what the heck do I do now uh, 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 at least stop here and take a selfie right I mean uh, thumbnail man it's minus five degrees Celsius over here and not much wind and this is funny okay you see here we have some uh, chargers here how the heck do you get over to this charger? It seems like there have been some cars here that to drive up on the snow. <laughs> Just that, that seems scary, man, because if you're plugged in, the car could suddenly slide sideways. And depending on how tight it is in the cable, you could pull the cable. So uh, what the heck happened here? I think uh, Soko K, they should do a better job of clearing the snow here, at least not make it a uh, slope like this. But it, it, it should be clear because uh, look at the gas pumps. They are always clear, but they have the fire suppression system. But okay, I think we just head back already. <laughs> and this is also really impressive. From uh, Yesheim to here, Yeilo, 206 watt hour per kilometer, but we have gained, oh, we have gone over 600 meter up. <laughs> so I'm going to reset now. And then we see how much we have when we go back to Yale, uh, to, to head yes him then. Man, I got pulled over again. I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, we are not at all topping up. So yeah. Here's the deal. Um, I'm gonna go to Ghoul again. Wait, how is this? Uh, okay, well, there, there. This is a bit weird. I have to click. How is this? I have to click, double click. Oh, it's a trick here to start. Whatever. Okay, I want to do a charging test over there at Ghoul. But um, that's 27 kilometers away. But I have to make sure that I have enough juice to get there, but then not too much juice. So, yeah. Uh, not sure how to do this, but I think I need to charge around 25%. But my concern is that this is a bit high. Will it make the charging session rapid gate? Hmm. Yeah, nah, I think we should be fine, right? Well, look at the consumption since Yelo. 113 watt hour per kilometer. <laughs> yeah, it's a Korean car after all. It's very efficient. We are now back at Google. I'm ready to do my charging test. I yeah, I had to drive a little bit back and forth now, so <laughs> because otherwise we will arrive here with 12%, and I need to be at 10% or lower. But the battery is a bit warm. I wonder if this will cause any problems for the charging test. But I don't think so because um, we are only well, only charging at 50 kilowatt, not 65 kilowatt, and then we have active cooling. So uh, I could sit around and wait until the battery cools down more, but I think this is good enough. Okay, let's start the test. Oh man, I went to the gas station and wanted to buy a burger. And then the dude over there said, uh, sorry, we don't have a burger at night. I mean, it's almost six in the morning. Huh? 
No, they have, you have to wait until 7 till you get burgers. I had to go for the biggest and fattest hot dog I could find. So, yeah. Well, let's see then how good is this. is bacon hot dog. Mmm. Mmm. It's good. Okay. But, no. It's just bacon. Nothing else to explain. But, I'll show you. I'll show you. You can hear the cooling going in the background. Now that I'm doing the charging test, I don't run a heat or anything. And yeah, because it will actually steal power from the charging session. But we are hopefully getting some uh, heat from the back. But, but, look, um, when I did the Eagle 500 kilometer challenge, I tried this. Wait, can you see it? Um, it's kind of hard to see. It's cherry dr pepper but last time i tried it it was well it was sugar-free cherry dr pepper so this time it is with sugar let's try it oh that sound <sighs> okay it tastes like dr pepper who's the soft but where's the cherry i don't taste no cherry in there it tastes more or less like a regular dr pepper yeah you might as well just go for regular dr pepper actually it has a weird taste it doesn't have that distinct Dr. Pepper taste. It's like it is slightly water out. Yeah, okay, so avoid this. Just go for regular. <laughs> wow, look at this. 47 degrees Celsius. Yeah, we have now hit 83%, so it uh, throttles naturally. But uh, yeah, so we have the thermal camera here. So you see, I open up so that we can see the fans there. So. The fan is pulling, I mean, it's pushing out lots of heat, but do, do we get free heat now? Let's see. Oh, look at that. Wow. How much are we talking about here? Okay, that surface is 15 degrees Celsius, but over there it's a little, a lot hotter. Right where the fan is venting out. It's hard for me to see right now. Let me see. Oh, 23, almost 25 degrees Celsius. Okay. Yeah, so the whole trunk is heated up. You see, this is a pro tip. Open like this and you get free heat, yeah. Ancient Chinese secret. Okay, we're on the move again. Now it's 6.20 in the morning and it is bright already. Yeah, so I charge with 94.5%. That's where it stops at DC charging. So you see, the battery is uh, nice and warm. Fan is at four, so we are getting some heat from the back and I also fire up the heater so this time I run the driver only yeah I'll try to drive semi uh, let me see like this okay I don't have to rush too hard right now to to hammer it or whatever so just want to see if I can get over to uh, uh, I'm not sure now uh, maybe a mere charger yeah mere they have many delta chargers and they are 133 amp or 135 amp so, Hönefoss, yeah, that's the next stop, Hönefoss. We are now at the Elon shop. No, <laughs> no but uh, oh, see, we are here. Flo, my original plan was to go straight to um, 
uh, Heron Force. I think we can make it there. See, we are 64 kilometers away and we have 80 kilometers on GOM. Consumption since Yale was 150 watt hour per kilometer. The only problem right now is that uh, oof, I'm dead tired. I think the hot dog uh, kicked in. I mean, food, food coma. So I just need to take a nap. It's for safety. I also promote people to take naps if they are driving and they feel tired. As usual, I always bring the storm by pillow. There. I don't inflate it fully, but then it becomes a bit too too stiff, maybe. This is good enough, and then... Whoa! This car can recline a lot! Wow! I like it! Ugh. And then I just use this jacket as a blanket, and then where, where is this gonna have a beanie here? This is actually wool. So I just do this, and this. And then we try to sleep. Yeah. Good night. What the hell happened here? Oh. What is happening? Oh. Holy. What? It's almost 10 now. The last thing I remember is that I was dead tired and it was seven outside. It was seven, so... Wait. Did I sleep here for three hours? What? Uh, okay. Which means two things. I was really tired and this car is comfortable to sleep in, in the front seat. <laughs> yeah, actually I noticed one thing, which is that uh, when I sit here, uh, the the side bolsters are not that wide, so I actually sit in a nice position. Many other cars, the side bolsters are so I don't know, so sporty that I, I sit like this, right, rather than this. Maybe that's why I was able to just sleep over three hours. Okay, let's plug it in then. Ugh. Well, it's still public holiday, but this is the last day before Easter is over. So, yeah, the shopping mall is closed. What well, can you can you still go to the toilet though? All right, we're on the move. So, um, yeah, because this is the last day of Easter, I suspect lots of traffic. So that's why I decided to just cruise at the speed limit on GPS. Yeah, if I hammer it, I'll just be stuck behind other cars anyway. So. I also reset the trip meter, so we want to see how efficient this car can get. So yeah, uh, most of the traffic, the stau actually will happen at the uh, Ringerike, Hönefoss, which is over there. And we are fortunately going the other way. So um, yeah, um, we will probably charge at uh, the, what is it again? Yeah, Shell Rua anyway, because we cannot go straight home with this range. But we can go pretty far, but not straight home. now at Shell Rua, topping up. This is the first time I come back here because the other side where I normally plug in, they only have CCS. But here, these are the only two Chanamo plugs we have. Only thing I'm wondering is that there is a sign here saying private parking. What? Does it mean that you're not supposed to use this side? <laughs> but okay, so yeah, man, let me show you. Wait, I, if I start the car, you can see here that, uh, okay, if I do this, look at that, 164 watt hour per kilometer. Simply amazing. I don't know why it's so much lower than yesterday, but um, we don't need to, um, okay, come on. 
Is it? I think we have to press and hold. There, there, there. There we can swipe. So I can just do this and cleavage. Okay, there. Yes, him. Zoom in a bit. Yeah, that's it. There, roughly. There. Change the destination. It's nice that we have a touch screen, big screen. And that has been updated also. Yeah. So we only need. Oh, yeah. Okay. It also tells me that battery charge is insufficient. So it has some sophisticated uh, functions here. But that's fine. The, the car charges so fast and flat. Wait, can you see anything? So this is wonderful. It is wonderful. We have old car with 108,000 kilometers on the odometer. But because we have a new battery, then it works almost as good as a classic Ionic. We're back on the road again. So that was only an 11 minute top up and we charged to 52%. Wait, well, can you see anything there? There, yeah. So the car charges so fast that <laughs> we don't have to spend too long. So I went to the restroom at the gas station and didn't feel like eating anything. So uh, yeah, at least for now, charging stops doesn't become too cumbersome for me and I don't have to wait for the car. So uh, back to yes him then. back home and we actually arrived with 27% I went too much you know I could have topped up only five minutes at the previous stop and then I could have gone straight home or I could have topped up 10 minutes like I did and then I could have driven uh, like almost 100 kilometers before I had to top again <laughs> so yeah but man this car is actually really awesome and it has been kept well so you know uh, these old cars like this is nine year old car and it just happened to get a new battery right uh, fortunately Kia they acknowledge that they they have bad batteries and they replace them under warranty some cases some cases they don't get them or they don't uh, they don't discover the, the fault in time fortunately there is no massive recall so Kia they be like uh, okay if you haven't uh, claimed your warranty then too bad <laughs> but either way eventually in the future there will be cars out there which can live almost forever. Think about this. You can buy new cells. This is just standard off the shelf cells you can buy. And you can then with at a cost replenish the battery by yourself or you know. But you can keep these cars on the street and the performance is actually quite good. Even in 2024 standard. But you have to consider that this car is quite cheap. Like it costs less than classic, uh, okay, way less than a classic Ionic, but it, it costs less than e Golf and i3. It outperforms that by far. I'm gonna show you soon in 500 kilometer challenge. I even estimated that 1000 kilometer challenge might take only around uh, 13 hours. <laughs> um, but okay, whatever. So, you know. The car works great and it will work for a long time now. The only limitation is that Chadmo might be sl slowly phased out, but there is a rescue there. I mean, there's a there's a savior there, which is the Chadmo CCS adapter. And by the time this becomes a problem in Norway, that we have less and less Chadmo plugs, then we can probably assume that the price for that uh, adapter will go down so that maybe we can get away with only 300 to 500 euros for that adapter rather than around 1000 euro a day and then maybe eventually other companies maybe in europe like metron could start making that adapter and make it better more robust or you know less handshake problems or whatever right and maybe even cheaper when we have more, more competition which means that these old cars like souls and whatever that has Chanamo can and leaves of course even the 60 uh, 62 kilowatt hour leaf can have eternal life eternal life <laughs> no but I'm, I'm serious that people who say that all I mean, all EVs they, they are ready for the scrapyard they, they are not they are so good like they they work on the long trip like I did today no problem so and 
I just fell in love with this car. It is good, it is spacious, it goes fast, it charges fast, it is efficient also. And, and just the stereo, listen. The stereo also sounds pretty good, okay? It lacks maybe the deepest bass, but it's nice and clear. I could do a quick audio review and also. Man, man, this is exactly what I wanted to show you guys is that this soul, as long as you get a car with good battery, okay, even, even if you don't get the battery replacement, if you can find a car that has not been abused that much and you still get around somewhere between 18 and 20 kilowatt hour, you still have the nice flat charging curve, you still have the efficiency, heat pump, 7.4 kilowatt onboard charger. Uh, this is a great car for the money in this price range. It could almost match classic Ionic in performance, you know, except that it's a bit boxier. But man, yeah, okay. The the mission or the, the, the adventure with the soul has just started. So stay tuned for more action. Anyway, I think that's gonna be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.